a couple years ago, uh, September 2008, I was in Buffalo for a homeschool conference. And while I was there, I found out that a fellow named Pete Hill, who was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame, had uh, died in Buffalo, and we were trying to find out where he was buried. Uh, turns out we didn't have his name right, we didn't have his birth date right, we didn't have his birthplace right, we didn't have his death date right. And so he was proving hard to find. While I was there, my wife found out that uh, where I could get a copy of his death certificate, which I then did, and the death certificate showed that after he had died in Buffalo, he, uh, the body had been sent to Chicago. We tried in Buffalo to find information about where, but none of the funeral homes that were in existence at the time uh, were still in existence or their records had been lost. And Chicago is an awful tough place to find a, a grave of one person. His name was actually uh, John Preston Hill, and uh, he went by the name of Pete Hill. And because of that, uh, he, it was going to be harder to find him, especially because in one particular cemetery in Chicago where a lot of African Americans were buried at the time, they'd gotten in trouble about a year ago. It's been found out that they'd been digging people up and dumping the bones out in the back. And so since by his real name he was not very well known, he could very well have been one of the people that was dumped elsewhere. Well, after I found out about uh, the death certificate, it got a whole lot of different people Stu Thornley, Howard Henry, Bob Bailey, Gary Ashwell, Nick Waddell, and I'm not going to name all the people I should, I know. Um, we did a whole lot of work on research. In October of this year, the History Detectives television show from PV, uh, Public Broadcasting had decided they would find them for us. And they spent a month on it and found nothing more than we'd already found, so that didn't work. Uh, but Jeremy Kroc, who is one of the main researchers, he had been watching a television show and it had talked about Chess Records, which was a blues recording label in Chicago, and he found out about where a lot of the old blues musicians had been buried, and some of them had been buried at some of the Catholic cemeteries, which is a little unusual since African Americans tend not to be Catholic. Uh, and so he decided after all the other cemeteries he'd tried that he would try the Catholic cemeteries in Chicago, and found out that uh, Pete Hill is actually buried at Holy Sepulchre in the Cemetery in Alsip, Illinois, which is just a southern uh, suburb of Chicago. And he's in an unmarked grave. There have been a number of people who are already offering to help provide funding to, um, to buy a nice marker for him, because a Hall of Fame baseball player surely ought to have a nice grave marker. Um, because of all the wrong information that was uh, had been previously believed about Pete Hill, the Hall of Fame has gone to the unusual step of actually recasting his plaque. Uh, it's, I believe, just the second time that that's been done. And folks in Culpeper County, Virginia, are real happy about it because it turned out Na Zan Nelson, uh, a writer in Culpeper County, Virginia, had done a lot of research and found out he'd been born there. We thought he was born in Pittsburgh. Uh, the death date was off by a couple of years. The uh, Not a couple of years, sorry. The death date was off by a couple of weeks. The birth date had been off by a couple of years. The only thing we knew for sure was that he did die in Buffalo, and that's about the only thing we knew that was right.